Welcome to the Nosebleed Seats. I'm the Mac Server Crime Fighter. We're here at Pinfall Wrestling Association down in Southern View, Illinois, at the uh, Little Flower School Activity Hut, the Q Hut, on the uh, south side of the school. Hearing the ring, the role model, Stephen Bishop. And now come to the ring. Former New Midwest Heavyweight Champion, Sage Ramsey, making his return to action. Woo! Sage Ramsey has been uh, wrestling down in uh, the Litchfield area for the past uh, few months after uh, being out of action for a year due to a back injury and then uh, legal, legal, legal action regarding a medical malpractice lawsuit. Watched a medical procedure, uh, kept uh, Sage Ramsey on the shelf a lot longer than he uh, would have liked. And the injury was non-wrestling related. But uh, Sage Ramsey is cleared to wrestle again. And here he is in the ring against an old rival, Stephen Bishop. Stephen Bishop and Sage Ramsey have feuded for many, many years. Stephen Bishop, one of the uh, founding members of the uh, infamous Cult of Ron. And they feuded over the uh, New West Tag Team titles for, among uh, other things, most recently the Sim Club. Fought Sage Ramsey in his uh, retirement match in uh, 2009, November Rain. Of course, uh, Sage Ramsey did not stay away from the ring for very long. So here we are at Pinfall Wrestling Association. This is the first round of a uh, heavyweight championship tournament. Eight men have entered into the tournament. But uh, we are showing uh, selected matches for the first round on today's episode of the program, the Fall Wrestling Association uh, formulate, formed uh, just a year ago. And the first show uh, was, uh, I have to say, very embarrassing. We did uh, cover some of the things that uh, happened at uh, Pinfall Wrestling Association in our... Uh, 2012 year in review show. It's number nine in our countdown of uh, stories of the year. It's one of three feds that formed in a two month period as Sage Ramsey splashes Stephen Bishop in the corner. We got cover. One, two, and three. Sage Ramsey, one of the owners of New Midwest Wrestling, but has zero decision-making authority. Oh, come on, Stephen Bishop with a low blow. Chip Conway, your official, did not see it. And there's a DDT. Cover one, two, to count. Sage Ramsey really wants back on the New Midwest Wrestling roster, the company that uh, he helped uh, build over the years. But the question I have is, how does a half owner of the company have zero decision-making power? Zero, de zero de decision-making power, I just don't get that. Kind of like what Jay Repsol uh, has uh, going with Dreamway, that he has ownership of the company but has zero decision-making power, although that was due to uh, losing a stipulation in a match. And there's a hip toss set out by Stephen Bishop, trademark maneuver. Two. Two. 
and he can't quite put Sage Ramsey away. Bishop, of course, did uh, come back to Midwest Wrestling for a cup of coffee, he aired the Brawltoberfest, drawing a high number, but uh, was uh, unable to uh, win that uh, Royal Rumble, Brawltoberfest. Oh, oh suplex from Sage Ramsey. And Sage, another one. One for number three, and oh! Ouch! Looks like his uh, knee buckled on him. He has uh, a surgically reconstructed knee. He's going for a cover. Oh! A two! And seven eights. Bishop just getting his shoulder up. And looks like Bishop's about to go for a ride. Going for the final fall. Blocked! Arby once! Chop slam! Goodbye! And good night! Bishop on a losing streak. His return to November rain uh, was no more than two minutes long. And this uh, match didn't last that much longer as Sage Ramsey wins. One, two, three, with a choke slam. And Sage Ramsey making a statement that uh, he wants to come back to New Midwest Wrestling. And certainly, uh, with the uh, NMW under siege, with the uh, Sovereign wreaking havoc, New Midwest Wrestling may need a hero. And Sage Ramsey may just be that hero. We're going to take a quick break. We have more action from PWA. We'll be right back. Want to wrestle? Head for the MBS Pro Wrestling Training Center at the Skywalkers International Sports Complex in Decatur. They start you off with cardio exercise and teach basic wrestling and performance techniques. You can also learn to be a referee, manager, or announcer. For more information, Call 217-412-1677. The MBS Pro Wrestling Training Center, Central Illinois' only pro wrestling training facility, and a first session is free. but John Magnus back in action as uh, he was mysteriously uh, absent from uh, Ace of Spades PWA. Their next show will be April the 28th back at here at Blue Flower School, the Q Hut. As the uh, second show of the month, uh, we'll be running here as uh, Connor Riley coming to the ring. We have not seen him on the program too often, but uh, Connor Riley aired into this PWA title tournament. Con Riley making uh, a number of trips up to Wisconsin for uh, Seven Rivers Wrestling. Guy Smith in attendance, uh, observing the uh, the matches in the ring as uh, the lead trainer of the uh, MBS Pro Wrestling Training Center. As uh, several of the men that is under his. Uh, Watchful Eye are in action at this uh, event tonight. So Kyle Riley going to take on the former NMW Heavyweight Champion. John Magnus going old school, going to the, the purple. The purple singlet. 
haven't seen him uh, wear that outfit in quite a long time. John Magnus, part of the Sovereign. Connor Riley clowning around. And a lock up to the corner. Billy Reno is your official for this match. He recently had to hang up the boots due to uh, injuries over time. He's just gotten to the point in life where uh, wrestling is just uh, not in uh, his best interest as John Magnus gets a side slam on Connor Riley. And Connor in trouble already. A scoop! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Body slammed by Magnus off the ropes. Drops an elbow. Come on. And a nonchalant cover only gets a two count. John Magnus is expected to return for uh, First Blood, West Wrestling's First Blood on April the 21st. PWA's Blood, Sweat, and Tears will be on the 28th, so uh, wrestling in Springfield for uh, local fans. Two successive weekends. Flying elbow catches Magnus off guard. That clothesline had no effect. Connor Riley not hitting him where he needs to hit him. And look at this! The Million Dollar Dream! Magnus has the million dollar dream! And Connor Riley may be going to sleep! Connor hanging on! Oh, look at this! Swinging million dollar slam! I have never seen him use that before! And that gets the win! John Magnus! It's usually the swing full Nelson slam, but Magnus displaying a powerful new weapon in his arsenal. The million, the swinging million dollar slam. And Connor Raleigh doesn't know what hit him. So John Magnus makes short work of Connor Riley. Well, our feature matchup comes up next. Blake Steele is going to take on Cecil Cerveza. We'll be right back. Well, John Magnus will indeed be taking on the ultimate utility player, Tony G, from the New Midwest Central Illinois Championship. Can Tony G avoid the million dollar slam? And former tag team partners face off again. Ryan Phoenix will take on Tom Arson in a rematch from November Rain in a first blood match. The Kentucky Buffet will face once again the team of Christian Rose and Joey O'Reilly. This time it will be two out of three falls. Attitude Inc. will have to defend the New Midwest Tag Team Championship against the winners of the Ace of Spades Gauntlet, Southern Comfort, Randy Ray, and the Dixieland Destroyer. And for the New Midwest Heavyweight Championship, Dan the Man takes on the champion and arch rival, the Dodgeball Superstar, Tyler Priegel. New Midwest Wrestling's 10th Annual First Blood at Lamphere High School in Springfield, Illinois. For ticket information, go to NewMidwest.com. Catch the Nosebleed Seats TV on demand anytime. Just go to stlwc.lip.tv. Select your episode, watch, and enjoy the show. The MBS TV on stlwc.lip.tv. The newest tag team in local area wrestling coverage has arrived. The St. Louis Wrestling Community, covering downstate Illinois and Missouri for the past five years, teams up with the new Central Illinois Pro Wrestling.com, presented by the Nosebleed Seats. They bring you the latest news and information, schedule of events, interviews, and wrestling action. Check it out now at Central Illinois Pro Wrestling.com and stlwrestling.lifejournal.com. Play 
signature matchup time. It's coming down to the ring. Cecil Cerveza will be in action on April the 28th at uh, United Wrestling Coalition in Georgetown, Illinois at the Georgetown Community Center. He'll be uh, taking on an opponent that will be in a tag action. It's Cobra and Jason V versus Jimmy Carrot, the uh, UWC Heavyweight Champion, and uh, this man. This weekend, Newman West Wrestling is running at Lincoln High School for First Blood, 10th ever First Blood, April 21st. But also Zero One USA will be running in Charleston, Illinois. Those for our viewers in Champaign-Urbana. Head on down. Champaign-Urbana, I mean uh, Charleston, Illinois. 1316 4th Street for Swamp Stomp. It's a 21 adults only show. Bring your own beer. It is outdoors, weather permitting, of course. Zero One USA. For all the latest schedule information, wrestling shows that are going on this weekend and next. Go to CentralIllinoisProWrestling.com or to St. Louis Wrestling Community at STLWrestling.LiveJournal.com Blake Steele looking for a singles gold. Blake Steele taking on Cecil Cerveza. Like Steele going to be a part, a major part of the uh, Epic Eight tournament by Pro Wrestling Epic. Pro Wrestling Epic in Mount Pulaski at the American Legion Hall on Friday, April the 27th. Davey Richards, going to be the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion, will be in action as part of that Epic Eight tournament. Also, the return of Brandon Aarons. Brandon Aarons back to uh, active competition after being out of action for a year due to uh, spinal problems. His uh, spine has healed up. He was able to make a comeback. Thus, he will be in action at PWE on Friday the 27th. Snap mare by Blake and a shot to the chest. Blake still hoping to uh, get back in and try to get another shot at Brandon Espinoza, the PWE heavyweight champion, controversial PWE heavyweight champion, who uh, actions at... Uh, the last PWE show during his uh, match with Blake Steele may have cost him the MBS Wrestler of the Year Award as that award was won by Matt Cage. Blake Steele to the outside. Blake Steele trying to Get his bearings back together. Cecil off the ropes. Lex Steele's valet in harm's way is Cecil going to the top. Lex Steele not paying attention and 
Cease to face it with that cross body off the top rope to the floor of the uh, activity hot and low flyer school. Like Steele against the barricade climbs back on the apron and slugs it out with Cecil Cervasa. Cecil uh, took a little bit too long in uh, deciding what to do. Looks like uh, he's recovered. And now he's got uh, Blake Steele in peril here. As he pounds away at the head of Blake. So he's going to get some more. Got to be careful, he can be counted out here on the ring apron. Oh, he got caught! Oh! Rock bottom of the apron! And Blake Steele back in control of this match. The uh, PWE title tournament and a two count. Blake Steele will not go away here. And a big chop from Blake Steele. Knee to the head, cover, two count. Oh, another shot to the face. And it goes right to, looks like a sleeper hold. April 28th, the new PWA heavyweight champion. Which I will not reveal on this broadcast. You have to go read the results of the St. Louis Wrestling Community. Be defending the title. Cecil. Oh, off the ropes, but eats an elbow to the face. And Blake with a cover. And a two count. Blake and Cecil have been longtime rivals. Over at uh, New Breed Wrestling Association or Alliance. Another punt. Blake in complete control of this matchup. Next week, here on the program, we're going to uh, air uh, some of the uh, MBS Award presentations. MBS awards have been given out, and we will uh, air uh, the presentations of those awards to their winners, some of them anyway, as it will take a couple of weeks for us to uh, get through them all, as they uh, it's usually a four-part uh, affair. Of course, aired uh, one of the uh, MBS Hall of Fame induction ceremonies, the Don Cam Morales into the Central Illinois Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. Irish whip reverse. Blake. It's like Cecil tried to uh, go behind Blake Steele, but uh, got a knee to the gut. And there's a clothesline from Blake Steele. And a one foot cover. Blake Steele, I don't know why he was thinking going for a one-foot cover. You're not going to beat Cecil Cerveza in that fashion. Cecil Cerveza is a fighter. And there's a chop from Cecil Cerveza. From shot to the face, Irish whip, reverse. And Cecil with a knee to the Takes a knee to the corner from Blake. Blake muscles him up. I think he was uh, going for the jackhammer, but uh, had to muscle him up in the air to get him for that uh, power slam. Vesa locked in a uh, bear hug on the side. But Cerveza elbows his way out. And there's a clothesline from Cecil. Side elbow. 
drop kick. And Cecil pick up. Juvie driver. One gets a two count. Cerveza firing up. Charges the corner. Knee to the head. He's gonna go. Maybe for a bulldog here, but Blake has the ropes hooked. Blocks it. So he gets a chop for his trouble. Cecil's gonna put him up on the top rope. Looks like Cecil's gonna go for a superplex here. Going for a superplex. Cecil trying to get him up. There he got him. Superplex from the top rope. Made famous by Cowboy Bob Orton. But Cecil slow to make a cover. If Cecil can get an arm over Blake Steele, he may have this match won. Mesa can't make a cover. Blake is back on his feet. Oh, shot to the face. There's going to slug it out here. Irish whip. Cecil kicks him in the head. But Blake trips him up. And a knee to the back. And Blake. Going for a power driver. No, a power bomb. Kick out. Thought he was going for a power driver. Kind of surprised me here. Blake is arguing with the official as, oh, he eats an elbow. Blake took too long arguing with the referee. Billy Reno. Irish whip reverse. Like still. Cecil with another elbow. Sunset flip. Blake holds on to the bomb drop. Oh, come on. Blake still says, Top that. He hooked the bomb rope to get the pinfall. Referee didn't see it. Of course, he didn't look up either. Well, that'll do it for this edition of the Nosebleed Seats. I'm the Mad Conservative Crime Fire. We're going to have some of the MBS Awards presentations next week on the program. So, so long from Pinfall Wrestling Association in Southern View, Illinois.